What's good, folks? All Things Country here. In our last video, we made this awesome black sand separation magnet, and today we're going to use it to extract some gold. We also share this microscopic pic of our black sand, showing you guys that there's uh, tiny, tiny flecks of gold in it. This black sand comes from actual prospecting. This is not pay dirt black sand because obviously during pay dirts, I do a review. I have to give an ROI. I get every last bit of gold out of there. This is stuff that uh, sluice cleanups from the camp that I bring home to process later in a jar. And that's I'm going to show you how we do that with this magnet today. So we have about a pound of black sand here. We've got some uh, in our gold pan. And I'm going to show you how this magnet works and why it works so much better than the stuff that's out on the market. Realistically, it's all about power. So you can notice that I don't even have to go too close to this black sand to start picking it up. That allows the uh, other heavies that are not magnetic to drop out. And that leaves all the gold behind. Pretty simple. So we've set our three gold pans up here. And we've poured all of our black sand into this one on the left. And we have these two. So I'm going to show you how I do this. Hover your magnet above the top, pick up some black sand, then you put it in your next gold pan. Now hover again, pick it up, and you can see we've left some dirt behind. You will have to go back, circle back and get all those magnetics out over the next pan. And now do the same. Pick those magnetics out into your jar, circle back, get what's left, and now simply a matter of taking what's in here, putting it into your final pan, and I give it a shake to the bottom. Now I'm going to repeat that until this whole pan is done. You guys aren't going to want to watch that in real time, so I'm going to do some speed montage, but at the end we're going to take this pan and we're going to pan that out, and that's where our, all our gold's going to be. Well, okie dokie, we've completed our process. We've got all of our black sands. You can notice uh, the difference in color from what we've pulled out from what is left in the jar. And I would say we got, I don't know, maybe we've got two teaspoons of material there. So let's go get our oil change pan and our uh, water, some jet dry, and we'll pan this out. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we are going to be generous with the jet dry on this one because I know that's gold is going to be super fine. If there is any, we kind of. Uh, Pointless video if there wasn't. Let's check it out. Don't expect too much. I mean, this wasn't a whole ton of material. We're going to stratify this really, really well. Get all the heavies to the bottom. And let's see what kind of reveal we can have here. All right, so that's difficult stuff to pan. I actually had to go, go back and grab my squirt bottle. Back to panning this stuff out. Very, very heavy stuff. There we go. We'll cut that in half. Clean up gold is the hardest gold to get, really. I actually don't want to see too much in here because that would mean that my cleanup sluice isn't doing its job. 
Now here we are, we're down to the nitty grits. This is the hardest stuff to plan. This is your non-magnetic black sands, hematite. Can't be too aggressive. You can't use too much water. You just got to peel it off slowly. We could, I could see the gold just starting to form through there. Fantastic. Couple taps. All right. Well, I'm not going to bore you guys making you watch me do this, but you can see the gold forming along the top. And here's what our microscopic gold looks like, well, under a microscope. Those three little black dots you see are actually grains of sand. That's how small this gold is. So I'm pleased that one, my magnet worked. Two, I'm pleased in my panning skills. And three, I'm pleased that my sluice is catching this stuff. So that tells me that my system is working. I was able to use the magnet, capture this stuff. But man, I just got three bags of paydirt in yesterday. That are one gram, and I can't wait to pan those out because this was tedious as all hell. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you watch this long, thanks for watching. Cheers, and we'll catch you on the next one.